Hey guys, welcome back. So today, I'm going to build off a previous project we've worked on together. And this is going to be a quick one. So previously, just to remind you, we had this API to fetch some crypto prices, just some basic live stats. It returns a coin and various information we want, might want to know about each crypto coin. Uh, we bought ourselves an awesome client. We've got a little service middle layer that actually imports the client and makes requests. So that would be quite nice in the future because now this client can be bundled up and we can reuse it in multiple places and it's not necessarily wrapped up in this specific project. So just to show you what it looks like if um, we get the responses back. So I am using virtual environments for everything. I'm a big, big fan of virtual environments. And so I've just activated that. And just to show you what we get back, so it prints out each token and the count price. Nothing, nothing too fancy, nothing too intense. So it's a great opportunity for us to automate this. Say we wanna be collecting stats every day at the same time, you don't wanna miss a day, person is probably going to miss a day and forget but a computer they love this repetitive monotonous type of thing so on ubuntu or most linux machines you're going to be using crontab to schedule your tasks so just to show you what crontab looks like so your computer has crontab and you can see i've actually already got a couple going i'm just going to stop this current one but we've got a couple of cron tabs going, but just a quick overview. So cron tab is you are telling the computer on a given schedule, a given schedule could be the first day of X month or every Monday or every day at a certain time at a certain minute, you want to run a specific command. So here you got that little definition there. So it's on a given schedule, you want to run a command. So here we've got that schedule and we've got that command. All of this is that command. Here again, got that schedule, got that command, okay. So even after having worked with cron tabs and automated scripts quite a lot in Python, I still find defining this schedule and these stars quite tricky. So I like to use cron tab guru. Got no affiliation, just really like it. So there you go, cron tab guru. And just to show you, play around, but say we want this R script to run the first of every month at five minutes past four in the morning. Great. If we say we wanted to run it at the first of every month at 4.05, that's what it's going to do. Like That's what we've told it to do. If we want it to run every day at 4.05, that's what it's going to do. If we want it to run every hour at minute five, that's what it's going to do. So let's say for us in this example, we want it to run every one minute. That's just so we can actually test this and have some output that we can work with. So you can see I'm actually defining the exact same one I've got above, which I worked on a previous project. So a good little tip is when you're working with virtual environments, you obviously have certain requirements installed to work with that project. And when you run from crontab, when a script gets ex executed by crontab, it doesn't have access to those requirements and all those things you installed specifically for that project. So what we need to do is we need to use that specific Python environment. And a good way to do that is use which Python, and that's gonna return the actual Python interpreter that's running when you're in the virtual environment. So that's the same one I'm gonna use for this project. Yeah, so now we've got the Python interpreter set up. We want to make sure we're running from the, we're going to execute the script that we want to run. So we've got our script. We know it's that thing. I'm just going to quickly put up this, make that easier. I'm just going to quickly put up a text editor so I can board up this full path. So that's the script we want to run. Actually, no, that's the wrong script. We want to run our stats one, because the stats one is what's important in that altcoin trader client. So we've got that bad boy. Q 
Okay. Okay, and then, and then this last bit is just so we can have some visibility into what our script is doing. So all those print statements and all those login statements, we're gonna make sure they get written out to this log file that we keep in the project. So now we've defined, like I was saying, we have our Python interpreter. Well, this is our command. This is our schedule. Same two components you need. And uh, we're gonna run this script, this Python script, every minute, and we're gonna write the output to this cron log file. And this last little bit is just saying we also want to include the errors to be written to our standard, to our cron log file, if anything goes wrong. So let's just X our cron tab. So we don't see anything there yet. We're just going to wait a couple of seconds, wait for that minute to tick over, and then we should see the cron log pop up. And we will see that the same output that we had last time from our script is going into that file. All right, so the minute took over there, and we got ourselves a cron log, which means something fired off. And there we go. It's printing out the exact same output that we'll get in if we had to just run the script as is. So everything's looking happy, everything's looking good. And just to show you that cron tab once more. So remember, we've got the schedule, we've got our command, and that's how you would take a simple Python script running with a virtual environment, because you have some specific requirements. And to, to get that firing off whenever you want. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like subscribe and then also click on your free guide link in the video description below that's the top 10 mistakes that most django beginners and python beginners are making each time on a project so yeah click that link check it out and see you next time